Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a little insight. When you draw with your freehand tool, which is in your flyout for your two-point line in your freehand, this also act, actually works for the Bezier tool. I don't ever use it, but I use a freehand quite a bit. So if you were tracing, and, I, and this is at default. I think Corel Draw has set it at uh, 50 smoothness. Most people don't even know you can change this, but if you look at this real close, it's got some jagged edges, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six nodes. Well, what you can do is go to Tools, Options, Workspace, Toolbox, and Freehand. So we're going to go to Tools, Options, Workspace is already open. Then we're going to go to Toolbox. And right here under Freehand, you can set the smoothing of it. So now let's set it on 100, and you've got to press OK. Now let's... Let me see if I can't mimic that same line. And now there's only four nodes where there were seven. Now there's only three nodes. So you can draw a lot smoother. This would really help you if you were trying to trace around an object. Let's say, uh, let's just draw a perfect for a circle. And if it was a piece of clip art and you needed to trace that, to me it'd be a lot easier if you had something that was would draw a little smoother. I'm not doing a very good job. But you can see it's a lot closer than if you didn't have the smoothing capabilities in there. Now to say that, if you like that, and I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, you would have to go to Tools and Save as Default. And then every time you open Corel Draw, it'll give you a lot smoother uh, drawing capabilities in your freehand tool. So anyway, go to Tools, Options, Workspace, Toolbox, and then click on the freehand and that'll pop up. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.